Hello everyone and welcome to Starbound, the spiritual successor to Terraria, put out by a bunch of guys that used to work on Terraria, now under the company Chucklefish. You can uh, find the game at playstarbound.com, I'll have a link down in the description. This is actually the open beta, well, I guess it's kind of an open closed beta, where you need to pre-order the game in order to get access, which I believe you can get on both Steam and playstarbound.com. Uh, so those links will be down in the bottom. But this is a very open sandbox-like game where you get to design your character and then go through pretty much an open world that's all randomly generated with several different worlds with almost everything being um, randomly generated that is out there. I believe that, you know, everything aside from your ship is pretty much randomly generated that you start on. So let me finish out my character here and we'll get rolling. I want something a little regal here. That'd be kind of cool. There we go. All right, so we will get going here with Darkulon 2.0. I actually have a previous character I created, but he didn't work out too, too well. So we're going to roll with uh, Darkulon. All right, let me finish picking out his little mohawk color there. I kind of like the, the black on black. All right, so we're going like this, and we are going to go for it and see what all happens. So we've loaded into the uh, our game here, and we get immediately a quest asking us to, um, to, to do as one of the few glitch, which is the race here, out of the six different races, as you saw on that character creating screen. There's like a bird race, a fish race, humans, apes, uh, these guys known as the glitch, and then also one other I'm forgetting, and then eventually there's going to be uh, more stuff. But right now I decided to pick the robot, because why not? But my robot is stuck in the medieval... Uh, like the middle ages or something that's kind of cool so anyway it's saying as one of the few glitch to uh, achieve self-awareness you are forced to flee your home world with little preparation ship has run out of fuel in orbit of an unknown planet before setting out uh, in search of fuel search your ship's storage for a matter manipulator so you need to press e to interact with objects got it so i've actually played just a little bit before i um created this character just as like a test and I've uh, figured out a few things here and there. Not exactly an easy game. Oh, there we go. Matter Manipulator. Put the rest of the stuff in here. Throw the Matter Manipulator down there. And then we'll uh, loot the rest. We got wheat seeds, torches, and bolt, uh, bolt bulb seeds. Kind of cool. Alright, so we'll throw these in the inventories. Out of the way. And there we go. Quest complete. So now I have this, and it can um, it can manipulate anything in the game world. So it's my go-to tool. All right. So now I need to search the planet for fuel, and I need to make a crafting table in our next one, shop class. All right. So let's quickly see what else there is up here. I got tech, which I can do research there. 3D printing, which uh, allows me to create new stuff, I imagine. And of course, cancel. E pretty much allows me to do everything. That's what I have to do. A fuel levels, I got none. And then that's the chair to your uh, your cockpit. So I got a nice turret up there, sweet. So me and my going down to the planet, I suppose. We are on, well, at least there's trees like right here. So if this plays, this plays a lot like Terraria from the little bit that I was exploring. And I mean, it, seeing that it is the spiritual successor, that's really awesome means I'm going to be able to uh, kind of get right to the fun of the game. I mean, I love these open world RPGs, and I'm hopefully uh, bringing you guys along for the adventure with me. Maybe we can all learn stuff together and, you know, just have a good time playing this game. It looks like it's going to be really, uh, really interesting with all its different concepts and everything else. Yeah, wood right away. Success. Let me break down this one other one. Uh, those are evil looking dinosaurs. <laughs> They have this evil, evil grin with, like, conch shells on their back. Um, yeah, let's let's not piss them off. They don't look too happy. Maybe they are nice, though? I don't know. I'd rather not find out. I luckily do have a sword. I have a flashlight. I have some wood. I have this matter manipulator. Crush. There we go. And look at all this. There's even, like, ores and stuff. Oh, that, that guy looks weird. Uh, so these guys are bipods, and those are, uh quadrupods. So, we'll go on our merry way. 
look, a little egg in the ground is giving me monies. <laughs> Space credits. Yeah. Alright, so where should we build our house? Oh, there's even a tree right here. Let's clear out these this tree. Man, our options are kind of endless here as to where to go. It seems like we have some pretty good options here. Our matter manipulator is able to like knock down trees. It can probably harvest stuff and everything else. Again, E is like our ultimate use key. I learned the hard way in the last time sitting there for like an hour trying to figure out how to access stuff that uh, escape and I for inventory no longer do it. So, there we go. Alright, so, we can actually go and craft stuff using the C key. Actually, let me remove the grass real quick. Make ourselves a nice little plateau-like area right here for us to live on. I'm kind of moving along relatively quickly, so I need to create... Turn those wood plank, uh, logs into wood planks. So as we see here, I can see to make this uh, crafting table. Ooh, I need coal. I don't have coal. Really? Hmm. Oh, there we go. I was still stuck on the torch. Okay. So there we go. Need wood planks. Well, I can make wood planks with the wood that I have. So let's go ahead and make some. Um, I don't think I need all 70 something. So we'll just make 25. Create that, and voila. Can create a wood table just like that because now I have 75 wood and there is a I'm sitting on a it only needs 35 so we'll go ahead and craft it and I can sell it apparently for 200 um, space rupees so let's go ahead and craft that ta-da now I have a wood table oop did I just create two I think I did oops oh well all right well done been given access to a wide range of uh, recipes sweet so now we need to uh, looks like here we need to Obtain some alien meat by killing monsters with a bow and cooking it with a campfire to make uh, cooked food. So let's go ahead and lay down our crafting table right like so. And there we go, we have our crafting table. So let's go ahead and access that with E. And we'll go ahead and find the, the bow in here. Where is the bow? Bow, right there. Okay, so I need plant fiber and I need wood. Well, I do have plenty of unrefined wood still, so that's not a problem. Let's go find us some fiber. Now, the trick is finding what around here is going to actually produce fiber. It's not trees. I'm, ooh, maybe this thing? Let's see about knocking this gigantic thing down here. Looks like a gigantic plant structure thingy thing. So maybe if we knock this down, it'll give us fibers or more wood. If not, we'll have to go and see what else we can break down to give us some uh, some fibers. Because obviously we're not getting it from the grass. And there's no like little fauna sitting around, or flora rather. Fauna would be that thing. Oh yeah, look at all that fiber. Success. Something tells me these guys are going to want to kill me. Maybe? No. Look at that, he's kind of he's kind of like chill. He's like, yo, what's up? Oh, this guy on the other hand's no. This guy's like, hey, what's going on? I'm going to just smile at you. I have the creepiest smile ever. That guy is just creeping me out, something fierce. So now I have a ton of plant fiber, I like 69. Let's go over here, create ourselves a hunting bow. Craft one. Success. Alright, so let's go ahead and move around some of the stuff that's in our inventory so we have quicker access. Go like that. Let's actually bring this stuff down into our inventory down here. And there we go. Alright. So now that we have our bow... We can go and take out some creatures here, and hopefully get some, uh, some food out of them. And we need to actually find these creatures is the, the, the trick. Yeah, space bucks! No, oh, space bucks, space rupees, it's all the same. So we got a lot of stuff around us by the looks of this thing. This is not a bad planet at all. Let's see if we can't just find a creature around here. Oh god! What in the world are you? You have a gun! Not cool. Also, he really hurts. Alright. Oh god, stop chasing me, intruder. Yeah, yeah, I, I... Okay. Nope. Nope, no, no, don't want... I'm cool with uh, not bothering you. You just back off, man. Just back off. Don't want any. Oh my god, I killed him. <laughs> I actually killed that dude. What in the... I'm completely out of hit points. Though. Oh god. Uh, yeah, let's try and kill you. Um, I don't like that he's rushing at me. Come on. Yeah, got him. And look at that. Got some meat off it right away. Wow, that dude was pissed. Um, is it like a chest? No. 
So it's like water and stuff. Okay, so we'll explore this in a little bit later. Once I need to get some like gear, I feel like I just got super lucky I was able to run away from that dude with that gun. Holy hell. That dude was like, hey, what's going on? I'm going to shoot you. And he had no problem doing it whatsoever. So anyway, let's go up, 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 nope, nope, nope. There we go. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get over here. And create, I think I said I needed a campfire. So what do I need to create a campfire? Campfire is right here, campfire. I need one torch, I have ten. And then uh, five unrefined wood, which I have 40, 43? Yeah, 43 of. Let's go ahead and craft that. Ta-da, campfire. Let's go ahead and lay that down. Oh, look at that, I could put it on top of the uh, the workbench there to consolidate space. Ah, well, it doesn't matter that much. So there we go. And then we'll uh, we'll click E on that to go ahead and cook that, that little piece of meat that I have. Cook, yes please. And ta-da, just like that, cooked alien meat. So there you go, food fight complete. If you're a vegetarian, toss this and start planting crops. Well, I'm a robot, so wouldn't I technically want it to be eating batteries? Oh, look at that. So I'm getting a little peckish with uh, hunger. All right, so accept reward. So next, it's time to craft a furnace. You need to obtain some cobblestone and a campfire and some coal. So if you'd like to uh, know exactly how much you need, go ahead and click on the recipe. So let's go back into our... Oh, too many C's there. How do I create... Oh, I can create bandages from fabric. That might be useful. Alright, so uh, that was my basic inventory. There we go, using the table. I need... Where, oh where is a furnace? There we go, stone furnace. So I need 10... Um, 10 cobblestone. We can gather that easily. There's cobblestone all around us. But if I want to get cobblestone quicker, I can make a cobblestone pickaxe, which is uh, 10 cobblestone and then wood planks, because that'll make it faster rather than just using my little matter manipulator. So we'll go ahead and start with the matter manipulator and work from there. Well, we'll grab this stone right here real quick, because like I said, it's just right here. So it looks like the matter manipulator can break four blocks side by side. Oh, not four. Two by two is what it can break. So let's see if we can't make this a little more efficient here. We'll try and break down some of this cobblestone, gather it all up. And there we go, there's that. Break up these two real quick. This is not exactly the most efficient method. Come on. Break it all up, we need more. More cobblestone. How many am I up to? I'm up to nine. That's ten. We'll break all this up, that should give us enough to get a pickaxe and then we can go ahead and craft that there we go all right let's get over here and craft a pickaxe and then we can start again but this time doing it quicker and more efficiently Ooh, cobblestone brick sweet okay so um where oh where wood support so wood support um cool okay not exactly what i wanted but anyway stone pickaxe uh it's a stone hoe all right, crafting a pickaxe, yes. So now we can actually dig up more. Let's uh, rearrange our inventory a bit there. More cobblestone, we need, I think it was what, 10? So let's see how we can do with the pickaxe now. All right, so it's looking like it's four by four, but it's moving a lot quicker now. Oh, no, it's more than four by four. And look, I can if I hold shift, I actually just break one block at a time. So that's kind of useful if you're looking to just break single amount of blocks here but if I uh, hold down the standard mouse button I'm breaking a whole lot more than just four I'm breaking uh, what looks like three by three which is kind of cool and I was told if I read the instructions right you can hold uh, the the le the right mouse button here and you can actually break bricks in the background so I'm assuming it's the same thing for uh, placing them is you just hold the right mouse button and you can place stuff in the background, left mouse button allows you to place in the foreground. So there we go, now we have 21 stone. So I think it's time for us to craft the furnace. Let's see, where, oh where is the furnace? Furnace, furnace, furnace. No, no, campfire. Uh, die. Um, stone furnace. 
Oh, I'm just shy. It's 25. Okay, so I need four more. Whoops. I misread that. Alright, so we'll just break it from right here, I suppose. Since we get a ton from the background right here. No reason not to. Look at that. Tons of cobblestone. Exactly what we need. Break down this. And there we go. Excellent. Now we have 31. Now we can create a furnace. Where is the furnace again? Furnace is... Well, nice thing is, FU stone furnace. Oh, I need a campfire. Okay, so let's build another campfire. Build one campfire, and then let's do a, a furnace. And then there we go, furnace. Craft a furnace. Ta-da! All right, now it's time we get to play with fire. So now we need to find ourselves iron. So start building ourselves a, um, obtain two iron ore and smelt it in the furnace to obtain iron bars. Okay. So it's needed to create a, what you want to call it? A, um, uh, thing. <laughs> Anvil, there we go. So let's go ahead and break up this, uh, I think there's something right here. No, it's not iron, I can tell you that much. It is copper ore. Cool, I'm cool with that. So let's go ahead and break up the copper ore down here. Gather up that and this one right here as well. Because, I mean, we'll, we'll probably end up using it later anyway. And let's see if we can't get... There we go. There we go. Whatever that is, it just dropped a little money. More space box. Six space box. Uh-oh, it's getting nighttime. <laughs> and if any game plays like any other game, nighttime's a bad thing. So here we go, we found something here. I want to say this might be iron. We'll find out. I'm probably going to need more than just this four. Oh, that's coal. So then what is this over here? Um, it looks like this, on the other hand, is more coal. Okay, well that's fine. I'm just getting a lot of dirt right at the moment. But we need to worry about making ourselves a nice safe home. Because... Oh, down below, I actually learned that that actually is heat. If that drops all the way down, you freeze to death and die. So apparently robots need heat to survive. And it looks like it points towards the closest heat source. And it looks like the torches somewhat warm me up. So that's good. Uh-oh. You friendly? Hey, you're friendly too. Sweet. Unless I can get killed the better, especially with my like next to no hit points. So let's switch to my flashlight. Hey. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm gonna die. Whew! Juked! Run! Oh, he just jumped on me and I died. There was no way around that one. <laughs> I just got crushed. So, as I learned in the previous one, um, the penalty for death is losing some of my space box. So let's see how much I lose. Ugh, lost like 30. Not bad, but not exactly good. Alright, so... We have our campfire here, which will keep us nice and safe. I don't s this thing. Uh, okay, I need to obviously work on my accuracy here. Nope. Nope. Wow, I'm bad at the bow and arrow. Oh, you're pissed. Come on. Uh, nope, 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 nope. This is not getting shot. Oh, gosh. He just crushed me. He just crushed me hard like that. Oh man, I should probably probably use the sword that I have because I, I just lost a total of 50. 